Hello, Mr. Grimes here, bringing you uh, another video. Uh, this video will be on multi-step equations with variables on both sides. Okay, so we're going to follow these same rules like you got in the last one, uh, but this time we're actually going to have to do step two. Okay, um, nothing else is going to change other than that. So let's look at a problem. Um, we're, we're going to just do some complex problems uh, because if you can work the complex ones, you can work the simpler ones. So let's start off with, um, let's do uh, 4 times 1 plus 7x plus 12 equals negative 2 times negative 10x plus 2 plus 12x. Okay. This is a long drawn out problem here and it looks hard. Okay, and, and in some instances it, it really is a more difficult problem. But if you take it kind of step by step and really take your time with it, write things down uh, and keep up with what you're doing, it makes it easier, okay? So what we're gonna do is first off we're gonna simplify each side of the equation. Now what I like to do is I like to take something uh, and cover up each side as I go so that I'm not focusing, my, my eyes ain't going anywhere and uh, I'm able to focus better. So let's cover this up, okay? Covering up the right side. We're going to simplify this side, okay? So first, we look for distributive property. We have distributive property right here, so let's do that first. So distributing the 4 in, 4 times 1 is 4. And then we got 4 times, that's a positive 7, which makes this a positive 28. And we bring the x with it. Notice we didn't do anything with plus 12, so it just drops down. Is this simplified? The answer is no. We did distributed property, yes. But there's one more thing we can do, and that's combine like terms. We have a twelve, a 4 plus 12. What is 4 plus 12? You got it. It's 16. Now, there's nothing else we can do here. This is as simple as it gets on this side of the equation. So it's time for us to move to the other side. Okay? Once again, we got distributive property here. That's the first thing we do. So this time it's a negative 2 that's being distributed in. So we have negative 2 times negative 10x. Negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times 10 is 20. So this is 20x. We got negative 2 times, that's a positive 2. Negative times a positive is a negative. 2 times 2 is 4. We didn't do anything with 12x, so it just drops straight down. <clears throat> we still can combine like terms on this side as well. We've got 20x plus 12x. What is 20x plus 12x? It's 32x. Can we simplify this any further? No, we can't. So now let's take a look at what we got. Okay, For the first time, we're going to see what we got. Now, from time to time, these will kind of be off balanced here. Uh, one may be up here, and then the other will be way down here. So you want to line up each side in the simplest form that you have. Lucky for us this time, we were, we were kind of lucky that it, it kind of balanced itself out. We can put that equal sign right there. And we can read this problem as it is. It's 28x plus 16 equals 32x minus 4. Okay? So, we have simplified each side of the equation. Step 2 is collect the variables on one side of the equation. There are 28x's on the left. There are 32x's on the right. We just need to collect them on one side or the other. Okay? I always like to keep positive x's if I can. Um, 
it's okay if you want to use negative x's, that's fine as well. Okay, whatever method works for you. I'm going to show you my method because it's going to show everything that can happen here. So uh, notice we can move 28x over here by subtracting 28x because 28x minus 28x is 0x and that's what we would want to do is get rid of them. Okay, so you do the opposite of whatever it is. If it's a positive amount of x's, you would subtract. If it's a negative um, amount of x's, you would add. Okay, subtracting 28 from this side though, 32 minus 28 is going to give me a positive 4. I could have also moved 32x's by subtracting 32x's, but over here 28 minus 32 is going to give me a negative 4. Okay, so I'm going to go the positive way. I'm going to subtract 28x's from both sides. 28x minus 28x, we just removed them, they're gone. We're left with only 16. Oops, I have run out of space here, sorry. We're left with 16. 32x minus 28x is 4x, and we bring down the minus 4. This looks like a two-step equation, and so we're ready to work on the two-step equation now that we've got the variable only on one side. However, I like my variables to be on the left, so one thing we can do, we can use the equality property of equations that says that if the left is equal to the right, the right's equal to the left. So here we go. We're going to move... 4x minus 4 on the left side of the equation. And we're going to move 16 to the right side of the equation. And now, from us doing so many of the uh, two-step equations, we should be able to work this now. This is the two-step equation. So we're going to, instead of subtract, we're going to add. Sixteen plus four is twenty, and now we're going to divide, to divide by four, and we get x equals five. Okay, let's do one more real quick problem, just for kicks and giggles, I guess you could say. All right, let's try. Um, Let's try this problem. It looks interesting. Okay, so we're going to follow our rules again. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to simplify each side of the equation. First, we're going to use distributive property, and secondly, using combined like terms. Okay, so I'm going to put my little thing over that, so I'm ignoring that side. We've got two distributive properties here, but when you have more than one uh, of the same thing, we usually start from left and work our way right. So here we go. We got negative 3 times 12 is negative 36. Negative 3 times negative 2k is positive 6k. So we're done with that distributive property. Uh, let's see here. Let's let's find us something else here to throw. All right, so we're, we're, we're done with that part. So this is what we're left with. We've got positive 6 times 5K is positive 30K. Positive 6 times 1 is positive 6. So this is what we got on the left. Okay. Do we have any like terms that we can combine now? Yes, we do. We've got negative 36 plus 6 is negative 30. And then we got 6k plus 30k is 36k. Okay? This is as far as it can go. So now let's move to the other side.
All right. So on this side, we don't have distributed property. However, we do have like terms here. Negative 3K plus 9K is 6K. And that's as far as that side can go. Okay, so now let's look and see what we got. Oh, okay, see here? Remember I said that it can sometimes kind of be off here so it doesn't line up good? So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring down this 6K down here to where it's even with this and we can see what's going on. Now, the reason why I chose this problem is because in this problem, this looks like a two-step equation. But there is one problem. There are Ks on the left and Ks on the right. So we have to follow the multi-step equation uh, process. So we've done the simplify. Now we have to collect the variables on one side of the equation. Okay. So we can either subtract 36K, but if we do, 6 minus 36 gives me negatives. I don't want that. So if we uh, get rid of 6K, we can subtract 6 and 36 minus 6. That's easy. So let's do that. So we're going to subtract 6K from both sides. 6K minus 6K, it cancels out, so it's basically a zero. 36K minus 6K is 30K. And we didn't do anything with minus 30, so we bring it down. Here is our two-step equation. We're now ready to do step three, which is to work the two-step or the single-step equation. So the first thing we're going to do, instead of subtracting, we're going to add minus 30 plus 30, cancel each other out, bringing down the 30K. 0 plus 30 is 30. And since this is multiplying, we undo it by dividing. 30 divided by 30 is 1. 1 times k is k. 30 divided by 30 is 1. And so we get k equals 1. I hope this video has been helpful to you. And if you have any questions, just let me know, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. See you next time.